Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are in Rising World, and I've got very little change that has happened. I have gotten some work done, but I've been going to a lot of doctors lately, so I really haven't had a lot of time to do stuff. First off, first change. Yes, I finally made this because I found aluminum. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it does other than it makes like... I did make a compass and a clock and all that good stuff, but... I really can't see that it does you a lot of good, so I kind of feel in a way like I wasted my time and the space and all. To put that there, I had to redo this back here, so now I've got all this stuff back here, and as you see, there's my compass and my clock, and it goes here, but you can't do anything with it so far that I know. I can't find out how to make them work, so, and I need food. I need food desperately. Look at that. I'm going to starve to death. Where's my... Yeah, and I put in these... Um, I've got tomatoes. I'll eat tomatoes. Uh, I put in these barrels to store food in because in the old days food was actually stored in barrels and this is kind of a midi medieval look game. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I really can't help it. That's one of the reasons we're all off to the doctor here lately. And, okay, I did change this and I've got this room done. So this is right now my little sitting room. I need to put a couch in here and some curtains, and I just haven't got it done yet, folks, to be honest. Uh, I am just haven't got it done yet, so... Oh, that's not where that's supposed to go. Uh, okay. So anyway, and this is going to be a rather short video today because I need to get it rendering while I'm off to the doctor's office, so... But there's my little house, and... Here's my storage. I've got the barrels for the storage. Uh, I got my Halloween pumpkins, getting ready to be putting them up soon. Um, I've got my carrots and all that. And as you can see, and I'll show you my garden. I think it's daylight. I hope it's daylight. Not sure. That moose is really starting to worry me. He's getting a little close. But as you can see, I got my little garden here, and it's doing pretty good. I got trees. They all have grown, which is surprising. They hadn't last time I was on. Or maybe they grew when I was on and I just didn't notice. So, okay. Anyway, here's my little garden. Got my little garden going here. And as usual, my mind is over there. But I've been mowing the grass a little bit. And to be honest, that's how I found all the carrots. Was the grass being mowed. Um, yeah, so. They're apparently everywhere. It's just that in this really, really tall grass, you can't see them. So, go figure why they put in all this really tall grass, I'll never understand. I guess it's to hide the uh, mobs, or to help hide them, so I don't know. But there's the mine, nothing's changed on that. Oh, and as you see, it is getting to be nighttime, so I guess I better get in here. Um, now, they have a new update going to come out here soon, I'm not sure exactly when. But um, they're talking that there's going to be, like, new biomes and bear or not bears lions and it, the the picture showed elephants which is cool for a savannah jungle biome or you know kind of a biome like that but i don't know how it's going to fit in real well in a biome like the one i'm in so and anyway there it's morning and i still have to do this floor i haven't done it yet mainly because you know i don't know i just i'm not sure that it's going to work with the tables and you see how that's sitting so I'm not sure how it's going to work with the tables and all. I really hate to waste the wood to take these down so I might just leave this floor the way it is the dirt so but we'll have to see I'm not sure and um that's about it I, I wish there was a way to grow grass back here because I didn't mean to take the grass out I was just trying to get rid of the uh get it flattened so but yeah, that's about all I've done lately, folks, because like I said, honestly, I haven't had much time to play. Um, we have been running back and forth from doctor's offices here lately, and when I get back, like yesterday, we got back, um, it was early last night. It was like 6 o'clock we got back from the doctor's office. But dealing with doctors stresses me to the point that I was exhausted and grumpy and I hadn't eaten anything because... I was sick to my stomach because going to the doctor always makes me sick to my stomach for some reason. And I just, I couldn't do anything. So all I did was lay down and then I sat and read for a while and tried to watch some calming meditative videos that to help with the situation. But 
<clears throat> of course, every time I go to the doctor, you know, I'm they find something completely new wrong with me, and you know, so this time it was you know elevated um, thyroid levels and all this other stuff. So you know, it's like okay, and they make out like you're about dying, so because you have to come in right away and discuss all this stuff, which of course makes you nervous thinking something's wrong. And it's it's just really a major pain in the backside, in my personal opinion. I think I'm going to cut some of these trees for the video, because I've got some time yet to talk. But, um, so that's why I haven't been able to make a lot of videos, is because we're like going to the doctor now almost every day. We went yesterday, um... Both my husband, they decided to let us both have our appointment together because I was going to be there anyway and they needed to talk to him. And as you know, he's getting ready for surgery on the um, the 30th. So we both went in. We had to go talk to them. They insisted on seeing us. They can't give you the information over the phone. Um, so they insisted on seeing us. So, you know, another hundred and some dollars for visits. and uh, It's just ridiculous. So we get in there and they tell us all that's wrong. and it, It's nothing that I didn't already know about myself. I already know by the way my body is behaving that my TH levels or something is high or off. I knew that. there was some. I know there's something wrong because of the levels. But all they do is give you a higher dose of medication and see if it works and tell you to come back in a few weeks. They could have done that on the phone, honestly. So anyway, they set my husband up. They found um, something that they didn't like in him. So they set him up for a cardiologist and um, a sonogram of some kind, whatever in the heck that's supposed to do. But yeah, so he's got to go back today. So, you know, I'm taking him in. And because he's blind in the one eye, he can't drive. So I have to drive him in there. So... So we're going back today, and then Monday we have to go, and then next Wednesday we have to go, and hopefully that's going to be it for a while. You know, I know he's going to have to have a follow-up on the surgery and all, but, you know, I figure they'll at least give you a couple of weeks in that. I don't know. But, so we might be going back to the doctor again on the Friday following or the next week. I don't know. But it just exhausts me because it's like you have to war with these people. You know, they oh, you, you want to die. You don't care about yourself, so you don't eat right and exercise. No, I don't exercise because I can't do it and breathe at the same time, lady. Hey, you know, I would love to be able to go out and jog and run and do all this stuff. Problem is, I can't even walk from my bedroom to my bathroom and still breathe. So, you know, uh, sure, I'll go out and jog right away, and when I have a heart attack, you can fix me, I guess. I don't know what they expect. And then they want you to eat properly all the time. Well, that's lovely also, except for one problem. If you spend all your life eating the foods that they tell you to eat, I want my inventory, oh, that's why, um, then you've actually not enjoyed your life because most of those foods that they're telling me I need to eat, I can't eat because they're not on my IBS diet. And I have something called irritable bowel syndrome where, every, where certain foods I eat literally make me sick for about three days and I'm not kidding you on that one it's about three days of agony um, I won't go into all the details of it but like I said it really is it is honest to godly three full days of agony pain and vomiting and yeah, the whole nine yards I'd really rather just avoid that so to eat the foods they want me to eat I have to decide whether I want three days of agony or health, you know. I'd love to be able to be healthy. That would be awesome. That would be really cool. But the problem being is to be healthy means that I have to be in pain and sick. So, but I do take vitamins. I try to take multivitamins and I do try to take care of myself to the degree that I can. I mean, but sometimes it's just impossible to do. Especially if you have other health issues on top of that. So, uh, cutting down these bushes are a pain in the butt. But I, I want to cut them down because I want a clear view to see if there's any bears coming. 
but I can't seem to find the branch that counts for the bush as a branch. Nope. See, this is one of those bushes that's going to be a real pain in the ass because it's not going to let you cut it down. There we go. Nope. There we go. There we go. It's the sound. If it goes tink, 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 then you know you're not going to be able to cut it down. But if it goes, yeah, if it makes that noise, you're not going to be able to cut it down. But if it makes the wood cutting sound, then you know you got it. Nope. See? And that's something else develop. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's a pig. That's something else developers you need to address because we need to cut down these bushes because if we can't, we can't see the bears in the vicinity. There we go. So there. And if we're going to have to deal with wild animals, we need clear vision for our property. So Now, I know there had been a bear out here somewhere. I'm just not sure where he is. And I also know that if I find him, he's going to kill me. But I, I need to locate him so I know where not to go. If that makes any sense at all, people. Unfortunately, I will lose my entire inventory if I come across him and he sees me. And I don't see him. Oh, that's a tree. Okay, what all do I have in my inventory? Oh, yeah, I've got good stuff. I'm going to go back and put this stuff away. And then consider bear hunting in a minute. I really am because I, I don't want to die and have him you know and I slept in my bed so I'm hoping that I don't have to have that little camp thing anymore to spawn. Um, I'm really hoping that if I die or anything bad happens to me I'm going to spawn on my bed because to not do so would be the end of this series, folks. I'd have to start all over again, and that would not please me in any way, shape, or form. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm not going to take any of these tools, although I can make them again. I'm not going to take it. I really need to locate that bear. That is extreme. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to take food with me? I should probably take food. I have food. Okay. Um, I really need to locate that bear. That's kind of important because um, I need to, how f to know how far I can go over cutting trees. And so let's kind of go upish here and maybe we can spot him from the hill. I don't know. This is just, this is one of the annoying things about the game. Um, you've got the bears. If they see you, they will attack you. There's no two ways about that one. If they see you and you're within their aggro range, you're dead. Just forget it. You can't kill them. I have tried. I've hit them with axes. I've hit them with um, pickaxes. Uh, you can't kill them. They are impossible to kill. And you have to stay constantly on alert, which is makes the game kind of fun and exciting, but still, it also makes it very hard for you to do anything because they're not assigned to a specific area. They can turn up just about anywhere. And the last time I saw this guy, he was over here by some of these bushes, but he's not anymore. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. See him? Now, see, if he saw me, I'd be a dead person. If he figured out I was here, okay, how far away is, oh, this is pretty far away from my base. Yeah, this is pretty dang far away from my base. Okay. I don't have to worry too much, it seems. Yeah, it, he's outside of the mountain, so if I stay in range with the mountain there, I'm good. He won't be, and he's still in the same area I saw him in last time, so that's good, too. That means he's not wandering around like the, uh, other animals because he's still exactly in the same spot that I saw him in. Hi pig! I'm gonna invite you to dinner some night. So, but that's good. That was something I was concerned about was the bear and respawning back at my base. That is I think gonna be one of my next experiments in one of the videos is I am going to you know 
go tempt a bear maybe and then see if I wind up back in my bed. So we'll just have to see how that one works. Okay, folks, I'm going to end this video now and render it so I can get it up for the next couple of days. Um, and beg your forgiveness on the length of the videos and the fact that uh, they're still going up. I'm really trying to keep the videos going up. But it has become a challenge, a big challenge to do so. So just, you know, like I said in my DinoCraft video, folks, just cut me some slack. I'm doing the best I can with what I've got to work with. Uh, it's just, it's really hard right now. You spend all day in the doctor's office, and then by the time you get home, you're so exhausted you can't function. And headachy, and stomach achy, and just, ugh. It's just miserable, so. Um, I'm going to dig up my carrots so that I can replant them. I think I'm putting them a little bit close together, but I, I might be wrong. Maybe this is as close as they're supposed to go, so... Anyway, as you see, I've got a nice little homestead here. I just really don't want to lose it, and I need to do some work on my house. I know it's kind of blah. Um, I'm, again, hesitant to do too much because I know there's an update coming. I'm just not sure when. So I might go ahead and continue the work on the place. There we go. Uh, because I would, if it didn't cost so much, I would like to build a separate building for my house and for the, I'd like to keep that as my house and build another building for the workshop. Problem is, it costs so dang much to, to tear that stuff down and put it back up again. So, but anyway, we'll give that some thought for our next video, folks. So until next time, this is Lady DeWinter, and I am only 64 wow that's cheap okay uh, lady to winter and um i'm over and out bye bye